Good morning and welcome to the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. Happening right now, people are still missing in the small town of West in Central Texas this morning. Between 5 and 15 people have been confirmed dead by state police, but the West Mayor estimates there are now 35 people that have died in Wednesday night's explosion. The mayor of Dallas says one of the people killed was off-duty Dallas firefighter Kenny Harris, who lived in West and ran to help. Firefighters were actually at the factory Wednesday night when it exploded trying to control the original fire. Houses, apartments, a middle school and a nursing home were all destroyed in Wednesday night's explosion. Thursday night, the community came together for a candlelight vigil at St. Mary's Catholic Church to try to get past the shock of losing so much. And West has always been a very close-knit community. When something happens to one, it happens to everybody. Um, I, I, it's, just, it's just real emotional here. This tragedy has most likely hit every family. It's touched uh, practically everyone in that town. We still don't know what started the fire. Investigators say earlier reports of looting and damaged areas of the town were unfounded. Members of the Lindale FFA are asking the community to join them collecting donations for the victims in West. The main things they say are needed, water, kids clothes, toys, non-perishable food, blankets, and rain gear. The Lindell FFA plans to deliver the donations next week to Waco. For more information on how you can help, visit our website, cbs19.tv, and click on the hot button. The information is posted under Friday. A follow-up on the Kaufman County murders this morning. A former justice of the peace faces capital murder charges, accused of killing two Texas prosecutors and one of their wives. The Kaufman County Sheriff announced the charges against Eric Williams. His wife, Kim, was arrested and charged in the deaths on Wednesday. Williams' bond is now at $23 million. Kim's is $10 million. A little cooler out this morning. Here's Scott Fossey with an update on the forecast. Scott. Your CBS 19 East Texas Friday weather forecast. High pressure and control settling in in the wake of yesterday's storms. It rolled through East Texas, giving us some beneficial rains off and on during the day to yesterday. Picked up upwards of an inch plus across most of East Texas, desperately needing that moisture and Mother Nature delivered yesterday. Today, the clouds hugging the upper, middle, lower Texas part of the Gulf Coast, at least the first half of the day. Then as high pressure settles in overhead, it scours out the moisture, pushes all the clouds off to the east. We're in for mostly sunny skies. After a chilly start this morning with temperatures dropping off into the upper 30s around the region, we only rebound to highs today of around 63 with a north wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour by late today. Overnight tonight, another chilly start to your weekend, 38 tomorrow morning. It will be warmer this weekend with the return of a south-southeasterly wind, 71 your high Saturday. Mostly sunny skies Sunday, temps rebound into the mid-70s. Our next best chance for rain Tuesday of next week. Don't forget to check out CBS19.tv and TylerPaper.com for the latest updates.